Well, welcome back. Continuing our conversation with Milwaukee Mayor Tom Bear. We wanted a chance to speak with the mayor about other city issues, but uh, let's start with this, Mr. Mayor, as long as you're here, because on everybody's mind here in America today is what's happening uh, just outside of Oklahoma City. As a chief executive, you must look at these and must already start automatically running through what are our plans for things like this. Well, anytime you see this, it's a tragedy, and I think people in, in America are riveted to this right now because of the loss of life and the devastation. Uh, and of course, you think right away, do we have a do we have in place a plan? for emergency personnel to get there. I feel confident that we do in Milwaukee uh, and all of, all of southeastern Wisconsin, but I don't ever want to be tested in the real world because it is so horrific what, what we've seen down there, the damage. Uh, and I was in Oklahoma City last year. They're making amazing progress as a community. And to have this happen uh, is obviously a big setback. Do you, you must think also on an emotional level with some of the with the city leaders, uh, with the other folks in government there. You were in Congress as well with the with those folks. What they go through here now to try and bring all the resources they need to get this cleanup going. Well, you do, and, and at the local level, quite honestly, you're closest, so you're the ones that are first on the scene, and you see the devastation. Um, but it's all levels of government that have to respond. But it's more than that. I think you're going to see a lot of outpouring support through the Red Cross and other agencies and, and the private sector moving in as well, um, because it's a time when the community has to come together. And, and I'm confident they will come together. Well, let me ask you about a couple of things going on in the city, uh, uh, primarily things that are being debated in Madison right now. It appears that it, it may be inevitable that the residency rule will go away for city employees uh, in Milwaukee. Are you first resigned to that effect? And, and if so, uh, how are you going to handle that? I'm not resigned to that. I, obviously, it's an uphill fight. We know it's an uphill fight. But I'll tell you what's been most shocking to me in this debate is what we've said is, look, we'll negotiate on this. But what we want to have happen is we want employees who work for the city of Milwaukee who move out of the city of Milwaukee to contribute to their pensions. Uh, and the resistance we've gotten from state government has been mind boggling. It's like, wait a minute. So you don't want the employees to move out of the city to pay for, toward their pension through their payroll or through their property taxes? Who, who do you think is paying for their pension? And it's not chump change for the city of Milwaukee mm -hmm. because right now 69% of our current pension liabilities are for police and fire and we're talking over for total liabilities over a billion dollars so I, I want to be fair to the taxpayers of the city and that's something that under state law right now should be negotiated has mm -hmm. to be negotiated and I've yet to meet a business person who has said to me well I'd give that away for nothing you'd never give sure. that away for nothing do you really think all those thousands of employees though would would take an immediate flight from the city I don't think it would be immediate I think it would be over about a 10-year period because that's what we've seen in other cities like Baltimore and Minneapolis and Detroit but why would they leave uh, well, that's what kills me is, is they say, I, I run into a firefighter or a police officer says, well, I want to leave because the taxes are too high. And I'm thinking, well, who's paying for your taxes? You know, and who's paying for your pension more specifically when that's the biggest item that we have for post-retirement is those pensions. And I think people across the board, whether they're Democrat or Republican, understand that, look, these pensions, and I support those pensions, these pensions are, are fair pensions, but somebody has to pay for them. And, and I think that employees should be contributing toward those pensions. Only got time for one question on the downtown streetcar. Uh, now that the city will have to pick up the cost for any relocation, or at least uh, it seems that way, relocation of the utilities, where does this project stand right now? What we're continuing to do is to do everything we can to reduce the utility costs. We've seen very, very strong movement downward. Um, so the initial figures, I think, were very, very inflated. Uh, we still, we know that obviously the state doesn't like the project, uh, but we're still moving toward final engineering to see if we can bring those costs down even further. All right, Mr. Mayor, thanks. Pleasure Thank to you see very you much, as Vince. always, and a good look with all the things going on in the city. Thank you very much. All right, we do want to get you your primetime lineup here on TMJ4. It starts at 6.30 with Wisconsin tonight.